gunboat yachts are well known as being high performance cruising catamarans. But I didn't realize just how high performance they offer or what levels of cruising comfort they offer until my cat came onto the market. A 78 foot gunboat that really exemplifies what this builder can do. And honestly, there is nobody better to explain about gunboat yachts than Sean McCarthy, himself an experienced sailor with racing heritage. This gunboat was built in 2016 and launched near the end of 2016 in the USA. She was the second largest gunboat ever built and is probably one of the finest performance catamarans you'll ever find. She's 78 feet long, as the name suggests, just under 24 meters in length overall, with a beam of just over 10 meters, which is 33 feet. She probably stands out amongst many other catamarans in the world today for her performance. With a square top mainsail and a north sail sail wardrobe, she comfortably cruise along at 12 to 14 knots and I believe has actually topped out at closer to 30 knots in boat speed, which is incredible for any sailing boat. Their performance are two big carbon dagger boards. Uh, these can be put down hydraulically and give the boat a really nice grip and, and help with performance when going upwind. She'll point closer to the wind than almost any other catamaran. And these also can be used in conjunction with the hydraulically lifting rudders to reduce the draft from almost three and a half meters. And it can reduce to 1.3 meters. So you can get you know, right in close to the beach, into the bay for the full position anchorage spot. Relax comfortably here in the aft cockpit. There are two really popular areas uh, that guests love on each side for lounging and you've got you know great shade with this solid bimini over the back. In the aft cockpit we also have a, a comfortable area for dining with this carbon top table. Uh, you can fit up to 10 people around it quite comfortably. Uh, we've got a small fridge and ice machine in the aft end of the cockpit. One of the nice improvements they made to my cap was extending the transom by maybe half a meter. It helps people boarding, getting on and getting off the boat, and also in and out of the water. It's like a mini swim platform on each side. And also by extending the water line, you get a little bit of extra speed. Going forward into the main saloon, it's probably most notable for its 360 degree panoramic view out all the windows so there's a direct connection to the sea and to the ocean. It's always really impressive to sit in here when you're sailing along with the sea rushing by and you're you know completely protected from the elements. On the starboard side of the saloon we've got a dining for about eight people comfortably and on the port side of the saloon quite a, a low-lying sort of lounging sofas uh, that you can watch the TV. In the center of the main saloon forward is the helm and you, you basically the captain is most of the boats controlled from within two or three meters of that area. All of the lines, all of the control lines for the sails lead to the winches at the base of the mast. There's actually another wheel on the outside just behind the mast so the, the captain or skipper can steer from inside or outside while doing maneuvers. We've got uh, three large touchscreen uh, state-of-the-art navigation plotters that you can also view CCTV camera from around the boat to help you maneuver. If we take a look in the cabins, there are two double aft cabins, both en suite. It's sort of a mirror image of each other, although the port side is affectionately known as the master cabin or on this particular yacht is the, is the owner's preferred cabin. And the main difference being that the, the AV and sound system in here is a higher quality. Going down the beautifully molded carbon steps 
On the port side into the forward cabins, we've got the, a double VIP cabin, also en suite with a large shower. And up forward, another guest cabin with bunks and en suite. If we go down the starboard forward stairwell from the main saloon, we'll come into this sort of pantry area with the washing machine, dryer, and engine room on the aft side. And if we turn left and walk forward, we arrive into the galley. You can see all the quite nicely laid out, simple design. Also quite nice in that while you're cooking, you've got to view out the hull windows. The galley also has all the best modern amenities with induction cooker, microwave, oven, and, and all top brand name Miele appliances. My cat can be run by three crew, depending on the level of service required. But there's a quite a nice crew area forward on the starboard side with a little dinette table, a couple of small sofas that can be converted into an extra bunk, and a TV for when the crew find time to relax. Up forward are two crew bunks with the crew en suite. Another fantastic area on my cat is the trampoline forward. And this is it's a lovely place to relax and lounge when you get the cushions out uh, to watch the sun go down in the evening or just a place to lie and read a book while you're comfortably sailing along. Yacht broker will tell you that potential buyers of this kind of yacht tend to really know what they are talking about and often have very specific, in depth questions. So, you really do need a broker representing the yacht who has a similar knowledge and passion for the product. Sean is exactly that person, so, for more details about the yacht, do contact him at the details shown on screen now.